Greetings to all and welcome to Tahiti Monday. I am Shenanigans and in this series of This Is How I Do It, I am going over Hearthstone's Curse of Naxxramas. This video will be about Gothic the Harvester in the Military Quarter. Look, if you give up now, I will tell Gothic not to turn you into a disembodied soul. Gothic has 45 health and for 1 mana draws 1 card and gains 1 full mana crystal. This means his harvest hero power pays for itself. It also means he will be gaining mana and cards at twice the rate that you will. But this is something we can exploit. His main minion selection is of the unrelenting type, which when it dies generates a spectral version on your board that deals damage to you over time. This too can also be exploited, so let's take a look. We can handle Gothic similar to how we handled Mayexna, but unlike Mayexna, our minions will not be bounced back for us at the beginning of every turn. That is where the Rogue comes in. I'm still not entirely sure how this deck works or why it works, which is typical of most of my creations, but it does get the job done. For our bouncing ability, we have Shadow Step, Youthful Brewmaster, Ancient Brewmaster, and Vanish. The minions we will be bouncing include Iron Bee Gal for Silence, Sun Fury Protector, Earthen Ring Farseer, Mind Control Tech, and Defender of Argus. Mind Control Tech is what our deck is based on. I will explain this more in detail later on. Finally, we have some fiddly bits. We have Backstab, Cold Blood, which we will use on our Spectral Minions, Shield Bearer, who's great with his 4 health, Betrayal and Eviscerate for some removal, and finally, Stampeding Kodo for late in the game. It's a pretty tricky deck and heavily reliant on what is on the board at any given time, so hold on tight as we get into it. Valera versus Gothic! The Harvester! My minions never truly die. Watch your back. In the beginning, you don't do much of anything. For your hand, you need mind control tech, a way to bounce him, and that's about it. Some early removal is also good to have. If you have a shield bearer, play him. He will soak up early damage from death chargers. Your hope is that Gothic will play 4 minions by turn 3 or turn 4. This means you have until turn 3 or 4 to draw the hand you need. Don't mulligan right away. You can take the damage from his minions early on, but if you can't use mind control tech before his big swing gets your health into the low teens or single digits, you've already lost. Mulligan through the early stage until the minions he plays works out in your favor. The mid-game is when you need to start racking your brain. I will show you a couple of scenarios, but it is all widely variable. First we have Mind Control Tech. If Gothic has more than 4 minions on the board, use your Shadow Step to play Mind Control Tech twice. Between what minions Gothic plays and what you get, there is a lot of luck, so it will take a couple tries. Then we have Abomination. You can use your removal on Abomination as a board wipe. Just be sure not to accumulate too many spectral minions in the process. This will lead to you taking too much damage and not being able to survive the late game. Take the time to work out your turn so you don't end up taking more damage than you plan. If you plan out your turns carefully, you can do a lot in a single turn. Just make sure you do all the math. This is also a good time to consider your spectral minions. Since spectral minions deal damage to you at the beginning of your turn, you want Gothic to kill them before then. Use Sun Fairy Protector or Defender of Argus to give them taunt. This will both keep Gothic's minions from hurting you, and if they die, they won't deal damage to you on your next turn. They are also useful for drawing out Gothic's arsenal of removal spells, as most of his removal can also be used on you later in the game dealing the finishing blow. There is also Vanish. If you are way behind, you can use Vanish to get all of your Battlecry minions back into your hand and gain yourself an extra turn. 
As long as Gothic doesn't have a Death Charger, you won't take any damage on the following round. Vanish is also useful for clearing your board if you have too many Spectral Minions in play. Gothic will play as many minions as he can after a Vanish, so make sure you have your Mind Control tech ready. The only caveat to this is that it is an extremely luck-based event, as you can never be sure which minions Gothic will play or which ones you will get. As you see here, sometimes you just whiff. Finally, we've reached the late game. If you're going to use Cold Blood or another buff on a Spectral Minion, try silencing it first with Iron Beak Owl if you can. This avoids taking the one additional damage each turn. When Gothic is out of cards, he'll begin to play his entire hand, which is usually a bunch of crazed alchemists. This is your time to win. Gothic's only means of dealing damage to you is through minions, so if you can stop and kill the minions, you can win. Try not to kill off his Spectral Minions on his side of the board in the process, as they deal damage to Gothic at the beginning of his turn. Since he's been accelerating his deck, he will be out of cards soon and start taking two instances of Fatigue a turn. That's right, he uses his Harvest Hero Power well after it has any usefulness. And that is how I did it! Gothic the Harvester of the Military Quarter. I hope this guide has been helpful in showing you the path to victory. Have fun making your own variations on this deck, or use different characters to make a similar, maybe even more powerful version than mine. Some other decks you could try are a Priest deck that focuses on cards that steal Gothic's cards. These are cards like Mind Vision, Thought Steal, Mind Games, Shadow Madness, Cabal Shadow Priest, and Mind Control. Or try a Shaman Control deck with silence and buffs for your own spectral minions, and board control for gothics minions. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more of the Military Quarter! Why doesn't gothic come back as spectral gothic? Come on! And corruption. So he's not gonna attack. Oh, and I could have blocked all the damage too. Oh, yes, yes! Give everything taunt! Yes! Okay. My control tech. I need you, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Where are you? Yeah! <laughs> Alright, number one. What do we get? Not a taunt me. Uh, number two. What do we get? Engaging TC 130 into Not a time. Uh, number three. Oh no, I can't cast it a third time. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have done better. <laughs>